oh, it, it's such a new technology that uh, we don't know a lot about what it can do, but we do know that it makes very important decisions for us, and we want to be able to trust those decisions. Some of the problems can be about the accuracy of the decision, sometimes about its fairness or its relation to other fundamental values in Europe, like equality. So a decision has to be proven to be fair and accurate in the very least, and that is the goal of the AI Act. So this is, as you say, a new technology, uh, a constantly evolving technology. How difficult is it to regulate something like this? Very hard. And it, this is why the, 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 the AI Act is focused mostly on um, regulating specific uses of AI, not the technology per se. So the application of AI to some types of domains is, is regulated. For example, using AI for, um, uh, I don't know, uh, granting a loan. That is regulated in a special way, not so much the technology per se. Well, in many cases, uh, these rules, uh, if they come into force, will govern technology that's uh, widely used already, things like facial recognition, for example. Uh, so what does that mean for businesses and governments who use them? Well, these kind of laws, first of all, establish principles and general uh, expectations, and uh, I think uh, it's appropriate. Every country has uh, its own values, and Europe is stating its voice in here. But remember, there is going to be exceptions for law enforcement or for specific cases that are not controlled by the AI Act. And, and also, it will take a while to come into force. It is not something changing tomorrow, for sure. And in this uh, draft re regulation, uh, chatbots like ChatGPT uh, barely get a mention. Uh, that's something that's exploded recently. I wonder if uh, what uh, these rules uh, govern uh, is already out of date. Well, no, one reason is that um, what we call general AI or foundational AI, which is what you mentioned, is um, a technology, not a use. So when you're using such a chatbot in a specific domain, then it is already regulated by the current law. Uh, remember, it regulates the application of AI to specific matters. Uh, GPT itself is a general technology. If you apply it to a video game, it will be fine. When you apply it to make personal decisions about liberty or equality, then it will be covered by the current regulation already. Uh, national governments and businesses, though, haven't uh, really been that successful at governing their technologies or the consequences of misuse up to this point. Why would this be any different? It will be difficult because uh, um, we are in a competitive environment. Industries compete, countries compete. Uh, being the only one to stop is never easy, uh, but the uh, European Union is a large enough block with a large enough um, agreement on, on these fundamental values. Uh, I expect that uh, companies will have to follow the European regulation in order to operate in the European market. Nello, good to get your thoughts today. Thank you for joining us. That's Nello Cristianini from the University of Bath.